Richard Southern joins us once again to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, Americans, sometimes they seem to do things a little differently, even when it comes to rolling out vaccinations. Yeah, uh, U.S. President Biden uh, today, Erica, announced a, a new initiative. He says he wants to get 70 percent of Americans vaccinated by the big July 4th holiday stateside. You know, great initiative, right? More people vaccinated, the better. To do it, though, Biden is rolling out the prospect of free beer. Yes, the U.S. government <laughs> teaming up with the big brewer, uh, Anheuser, uh, Anheuser-Busch. And Anheuser-Busch says, we're going to buy every American age 21 and over a round of beer if Biden hits his goal of vaccinating 70 percent of the population by July 4th. Uh, when announcing this today, Erica Biden said, quote, get a shot, have a beer. Do you think this is an appropriate incentive? Eric? I don't know. I mean, it's it's one way to do it. They've been offering all kinds of things in the states in order to get a shot. Why not beer? I guess. C right? CBS, I, the big drugstore chain yeah. down there, is giving away free Super Bowl tickets. Uh, we've got Krispy Kreme giving away free donuts. I tried to ask um, uh, Premier Ford last week if he would engage in such incentives didn't quite answer my question I'll, I'll try and press him again on that but i obviously we're a little bit further back in the vaccination process here in canada right yeah now. it seems like they start offering that when the vac like the remaining percentage of people who are a little bit hesitant don't want to maybe not take the vaccine yet right yeah okay. then we'll take our free beer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay um monday was a tough day as the maple leafs lost to the habs and now doug ford has lost a bet I think announcing that schools will stay closed until September was perhaps the second most difficult thing the Premier did today, Erica. Mm. He took the social media to show off his Habs jersey. This is Ford living up to his bet that he made with Quebec Premier Francois Legault. The two leaders, you know, making this friendly bet over the Leafs Habs series. Leafs lost, so Ford's got to put on uh, the jersey. Ford said, quote, this is killing me putting on this jersey, but I'm proud of our great Maple Leafs. They did a great job, Ford joked in this video. That's a good thing I didn't bet, Erica, because I said here on City News that the Leafs would win in seven. Of course, they lost in seven. You should have pressed me. I could have been doing something silly right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe next time, <laughs> next time around. Okay, and uh, this is something that I'm not opposed to. Now, as we're getting used to the idea of a post-pandemic life, some common things like the way we greet each other are being re-examined. The handshake. Aren't yeah. you glad that we're not doing the handshake right I now? I am. I kind of am, you know, and it, it kind of makes me reevaluate these things, and I guess people are doing that now. Was there anything worse than grabbing a, a sweaty, sweaty, clammy hands. hand? Yeah, it was not cool. Gross. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, there's a lot of thoughts about, listen, is the, is the handshake gone forever now that the, the pandemic is, is starting to wane? You know, the handshake goes way back in history. Uh, research suggests the practice was common even in prehistory to keep the peace and as a strategic method to confirm uh, that your counterpart wasn't armed. But it's also a great way to pass germs. The average human hand carries 3,200 different types of bacteria, including fecal bacteria and of course you got a lot of other options now be it a, a bow a hug a high five an elbow bump mm -hmm. or even an air kiss erica but you know experts suggest that we we might actually go back to the handshake if you look at the sports players they've gone right back to it so we can only hope you and i that maybe we've done away with the handshake but i'm not so sure about i'm just gonna say right now if people expect me to do a handshake and i do like a fist bump or just a wave don't be offended i'm just no. uh, I, yeah that's right. We all just right. don't want your germs. That's all. <laughs> okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.